This smells like car tires. I'm pissed. You know what you came here for. Sit back and tune in for Isha Talor. Yeah, yeah. What's up, y'all? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl, Isha Talor. Today's video is going to be all about fragrances. Your girl has been on Perfume Talk on TikTok. And I've been seeing so many different recommendations. I bought a lot of them. I have Arabian fragrances. I have fragrances from Sephora. Clean fragrances from Target. So I have all different price points in here. Let's talk about them. Every one of them, Mama got a review on the Forever Mood. Um, this is the first one that I actually got. I have a shorts already talking about it, but this is my first fragrance review. But something about me is that I don't like to just know what the notes are, cause like, what does that smell like? I'm gonna tell you what it smells like, where you can wear it, what kind of mood it fits. That's me. That's how I'm gonna do my fragrance review, okay? So if you think this is helpful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button cause you know that's how I do my reviews. The Forever Mood, I got the Discovery set. If you aren't aware, Forever Mood is Jackie Ina's company and she dropped four fragrances. So I got the Discovery set because I have trust issues and I did not want to commit to big bottles of anything. And I'm so glad I did that because everyone raved about I Am Her, but that is not my favorite, okay? I Am Her, um, the notes is red velvet, pear, and raspberry, okay? I'm still gonna say it for the scent girlies that like to know their notes, okay? I'm still gonna say it. To me, that this one is the strongest out of the four. And when I say strong, it's just like legit, you don't need a lot of this one to smell it. It's described as warm and spicy. It's definitely leaning towards the spicier side at least to me and it's more of a mature and statement scent if you want to make a little statement in a room you will definitely wear i am her it's giving business woman rich auntie vibes it's not giving first date because it's a little bold okay it's a little strong you don't want to come across too strong on a first date i am her is actually my least favorite out of the four next is hard to get oh hard to get is my favorite it's the top one it's giving flirty the notes are lemon jasmine and whipped vanilla and it's giving very much that it's giving the gourmand it's giving it's giving um it's giving first date vibes because it's very flirty it goes to a brunch it's not overpowering it's not like you are commanding a statement, you just know that you smell good. You know what I mean? It's definitely giving warm and comforting. It's not loud at all. It's like a nice, warm, cozy hug. Um, it has a very strong lemon beginning, but a beautiful vanilla dry down. So I am trying to get my hands on a big one of this. It's sold out at Sephora. Well, when I'm recording this right now, it's sold out at Sephora because it was during the Sephora sale, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's available now. I'm gonna get my hands on it. Next is You Remind Me, and the notes are apricot and white flowers, soft and fresh. It's your skin, but better, if that makes sense. Like, it's clean skin. Let me say that. Clean skin type of scent is something you would wear when you come out the shower. I don't personally wear perfume to bed, but if you were to, this would be a good one. This one's definitely unisex. I can smell this on my man, too. It's giving innocent aesthetic. You could wear this one any occasion. Any time of the year, any day, like this one smells just like that. My third favorite. And lastly is NDA. This has tobacco flower, spice rum, and vanilla bean. The beginning is definitely spicy, but then it dries down to be more floral and flirty. It's giving that soft aesthetic. If you like the perfume of Victor and Ralph and Ruby Orchid, I believe, you will definitely like this one. I'm not saying it smells like it. I'm just saying it's in the same scent DNA scent family. It's professional for work, yet girly for a date night. It's definitely a spring fragrance. So this is my second out of the four. So it goes hard to get, NDA, you remind me, and then I am her for my order. I got this Brown Girl Jane Discovery set because I heard that they're black owned, obviously, Brown Girl Jane, and they are new to Sephora. So I was like, okay, I wanna try them out and see what they're about. And they're also considered a clean brand. It doesn't have any endorphin disruptors, which is great for me. Casablanca has notes of marshmallow, sweet suede, and cardamom. If you like the smell by Jimmy Choo Illicit, you will definitely like this one. And that's actually one of my favorite perfumes. So it's giving that sweet, sexy smell. It's very dimensional, but it's perfect for the spring. I wear Illicit all year round, but the fact that this is a clean version of that perfume, I'm I, that's actually great. I don't mind buying a maybe a travel version of this. I don't need a big one since I have Jimmy Choo Illicit and it smells exactly the same in my opinion. But this smells really good if you don't have. All right, next is Bahia. 
The notes are peach nectar, golden gardenia, and tumorose. This one smells like cough syrup to me. It smells, it smells like Robitussin, and I don't really like this one at all, so that's that on that. Dusk has toasted almond, jasmine nectar, and cedarwood. I don't like this one. This one's more masculine in my opinion, and it probably is for a man. Oof. It's a little strong. It's definitely spicy. It's not something that I would wear. I actually don't like it, but if you like something that's strong, you might like this one. All right, the next one is Dare. It has Juicy Cherry Rose Damascena and Italian Leather. This one, if you like Flower Bomb, you will definitely like this one. It's definitely very sweet. I did try this one in particular on my skin, and it does not last. I sprayed it several different times. I know it's obviously just a sample, but I sprayed it several different times. It does not last, so I don't know if like the clean fragrance, you know, doesn't have what it needs to last longer. Don't know, not sure, but I just want to make that known that this did not last. But it does smell really good. All right, Lamu has Italian lemon, coconut water, and sandalwood. This smells like something an older lady would wear, and there's nothing wrong with that. Y'all need perfumes too. <laughs> it's just really mature, and it's okay. It's just not my vibe, so I don't really care for that one. Lastly, Dawn has Water Lily, Amber Risen, and Vanilla Bourbon. If you are very girly, this is giving like, I'm going on a picnic, I love nature, kind of like, my favorite color is pink and yellow. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what it's giving. It smells really good. It's too, it's leaning more towards on the floral side for me personally. I wouldn't probably wear this one, but it does smell good. Out of this collection, out of this set, the only two that I personally would wear is Casablanca and Dare. Let's go to Fleur. So I actually bought the big Fleur off of TikTok shop before I realized that Fleur was at Sephora. Like a ding dong, it's whatever. Cause TikTok shop was what hyped this up for me. So I have the vanilla skin and it has notes of pink pepper, pink apple, sugar crystals, um, lily, jasmine petals, cashmere, vanilla, sand, sandalwood, and argwood. I don't smell, it's vanilla. Like, there's no real dimension to this. <laughs> like, let's be completely honest, there's no real dimension to this, but I'm gonna keep it, just because it was cheaper on TikTok shop, I got it for $20. It's cool, like, it's, it's a good base, if anything, for other things. I use it with my Vanilla Musk Fragrant Oil from Ulta. I would use this as my base, and then add this on top of it, and then I smell, like vanilla pretty much all day. I don't smell like the other things. It goes straight down to the base notes on me at least. So, I mean, it's a cute little fragrance and it's a clean brand too. So let's get into the discovery set for Fleur. Somebody would. So this just smells like something that you would wear to the beach. Like it's nothing special about it, but it has like a clean thing. It's fruity. You could definitely smell the lemon and the jasmine in it. It's, I had Bay smell these too, so he has some commentary <laughs> added to these, but it's not something an ethnic person would personally wear, okay? It's giving just beachy vibes. All right, Miss in Person. That smells like a straight up old lady. I'm not even gonna hold you. Bay said it smells like an old lady church hug. <laughs> Take with that what you will. All right, Solar Power. Solar Power, if you like something floral, you will definitely like this one. You could wear this to a business meeting, you're a business professional. That's what it is. Um, it's it's not giving anything much more than that. If you like a sweet floral, you'll definitely like this one. Is it a standout set? No, that's why I'm saying like if you're a business professional, you can get away with wearing that one. Tangerine Boy. I mean, it smells exactly what it... <laughs> it has lemon, ginger, black pepper, apple, tangerine, jasmine petal, apple, moss. It smells like a spicy orange. Moving on. Father Figure. It smells like a rich, attractive man that is sophisticated and knows your worth not his worth knows your worth okay it's gentle yet strong mm. a woman can wear this but it is leaning towards masculine like i sprayed it with for bay he was like oh i would wear that one i'm like yes exactly an attractive man you are but uh <laughs> it definitely i'm definitely gonna get bay a bigger size of this one like it smells really good no wonder they named the father father figure <laughs> oh, and Bay also said it smells like a slow mo walk that a man does when he's confident. Like, he knows what that means, but <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'll mention it in the video. All right, Lost Cause. It smells good. It does. Like, for it's a masculine scent, but it's not like Father Figure. It smells fresh. 
Um, you can wear this as a masculine person to work. It's more like a work fragrance. While the other one was like, oh, I'm trying to grab a girl. I'm trying to grab a baddie. Like, you know what I mean? It's leaning towards masculine, but again, you can, you know, women can pull these fragrances too, but in my opinion, it's pulling more masculine. Not your baby. <laughs> Let's tell you the notes, because it's my favorite. Has cardamom, bergamot, mimosa, violet, vanilla milk, sandalwood, and tuckamine. If you haven't, well, you're gonna rely soon. My favorite fragrances are gourmand fragrances. So vanilla, sandalwood, tonka bean, amber, like, mwah, it's my favorite. So this one, I haven't sprayed this whole video because I, I know what these smell like and I'm not in the mood. Mmm, okay. This one smells amazing. It's like a creamy vanilla. It's sweet. Instantly, I love it. It's date night. It's work. It's time with the girls. It's a sweet floral vanilla. I don't know. And lastly is apricot privé. <laughs> Ooh, it just smells like a spicy apricot, okay? My description of things is wild. It smells like a Caribbean West Indian older gentleman that sprayed too much of his favorite cologne. Take with that what you will. I am Caribbean, so I'm not offending my people. <laughs> just spicy scents. That's what this is. It's not inviting to me. I love this pack of eight for the Fleur. I only like two. Um, I give it 2.5 because Lost, um, I think Lost Cause right. was that. During the Sephora sale, I picked up Glossier U. It comes in a package like this. It's like a little pearl. It's like cute. And this is the solid perfume. So this is the a warm and spicy scent family. And the notes are pink pepper, iris, and aprox. So it smells good. Am I wild by it? No. Is it something that's gonna be good to just like, one, you could travel with this, and it gives a good base for other perfumes. I don't know if I would pick up the spray version of this. I think this is just a good base to put something on, but I probably won't repurchase this just because for the price, it was $32 and I was like, what is this? I mean, granted, you don't need a whole bunch, but it's just like, what is this? You know what I mean? So, all right. I got some Target fragrances, okay? Target, their finery brand apparently makes dupes for higher-end perfumes. I didn't know that, but once I saw on TikTok, I was like, yes, ma'am, let's give it a try. So, I picked up the Finery Sweet on the Outside perfume. That's what it looks like. Apparently, it's a dupe for the Billie Eilish perfume. So it has Madagascar vanilla, tonka bean, and smoked vetiver. What did I say? I love me a good tonka bean and vanilla. So it's a gourmand fragrance. This actually smells really good. I did get a chance to smell Billie Eilish's perfume, the first one, the gold one, and it does smell pretty similar to this. So if you can't get your hands on the Billie Eilish one or you don't want to, then go to Target and get this one. It smells just as good. I also smelled the pink one. I think it's called Flower Something from Target. That one smells really good. I just didn't... I'm not in that scent family mood all the time, which is more floral, but that one smells really good as well. And so does the green one. All right, I also picked up a Mix Bar as well from Target. They said that it smells really good too. So I got Whipped Almond. When I first looked at them, I didn't think I was gonna like whipped almond, to be honest with you. It's giving vanilla. It's definitely a gourmand fragrance. Ah, it's definitely sweet. I would definitely pair Glossier U with this whipped almond. It would smell really good. It would have like a dimension to it. I didn't like the vanilla bourbon. I thought I was going to as a vanilla girly, but I actually didn't like it that much, so I obviously didn't pick it up. But this was like $12.99 or something like that. These are really affordable, and this one was $30. On to my Middle Eastern Arabian fragrances. TikTok has had me in the chokehold of trying Arabian fragrances and I've never tried any. So I picked up three. So the first one is the Teskeen Caramel Cascade. It's still in the box because I apparently am letting it marinate to see what it does. But I will say Arabian and Middle Eastern fragrances, their presentations are beautiful. Like the packaging is amazing. The scent notes for this one is caramel, milk, tonka bean, honey, vanilla, and white musk. Okay, so it's giving very much gourmand, right? And I was like, okay, this smells like car tires. I'm pissed. It, it starts off smelling good. Like you're like, okay, it smells creamy. It smells good. And then you're looking, you're underneath it. You're like, it's something I don't like about it. And I've done the whole thing where when you get a new fragrance, you're supposed to spray five to ten sprays first. 
Let it sit for a few days. I've had this for a week. It smells good till it doesn't. All right, next so. is the Latafa fragrance. Everyone in the mama keeps talking about how good Latafa fragrances are. So I got a couple. The first one I got is Camera. I will say, like I said, their packaging, amazing. The scent notes are bergamot, cinnamon, nutmeg, dates accord, lily of the valley, praline, tumorose, roasted tonka, myrrh, something, igala wood, vanilla, and amber wood. So it has a couple things I like in there. It said it was unisex, but I was looking at a lot of reviews and it was more women that were saying it smelled really good. So I was like, okay, fine. This is absolutely stunning. Like presentation on a thousand. I'm not taking it out. I am not because I absolutely hate it. Spray it on me because when you spray it on something, it doesn't always give what it's going to smell like. We all know this. You got to spray it on your skin and see how it connects with your skin chemistry. Spray it on me, spray it on Bay. Bay usually doesn't complain about things. But when I tell you, he hopped in the shower so fast and washed his arm. He hated it so bad. I also washed my arm. I hated it. It does not smell good. I'm not about to smell it. It just is super strong. It's pulling just straight spice and cinnamon, which it does have. It does not dry down into something warm and nice and sexy. No. And I already started my return. All right, next I got the ever so popular Latafa Yara. So I actually just got the fragrance oil, which is basically the same thing. I tend to like fragrance oils a little bit more because they tend to last longer. This one actually does not though, which kind of sucks. Notes of this, orchid, helotrope, tangerine, gourmand accord, vanilla, musk, sandalwood, and tropical fruits. This does smell really good. This actually smells just like Victor and Roth Flower Bomb, like literally the same thing. So yes, it smells good. If you don't have Flower Bomb, which is more expensive than this one, then get this one. Right. As I started to like really figure out these scents, I just got this last one yesterday. So I started to be like, okay, let me be more intentional about the scent notes. I kind of know what I like now, like stuff like that. So I know if I was gonna like this next one or not. And I do. But we have some thoughts. So this is the Latafa Nebras. Again, packaging on a thousand. Like, look at that. Ooh, hoo, hoo. It's gorgeous. The notes are red berries, mandarin, vanilla, cacao, rose, tonka bean, amber, musk, sugar. Isn't it all things I love? Yes. Now, it smells just like Billie Eilish. It smells really good. It's a gourmand fragrance. However, I don't like it. I like it as a fragrance. I don't like how strong it is. Like it legit, I sprayed once on my arm yesterday. And kid you not, I immediately ran upstairs from my inhaler. It triggered my asthma and allergies so bad and so quickly. I literally then grabbed the Dawn soap and baking soda and scrubbed my arm. Cause I already showered and I wasn't in the mood to go hop back in and shower again. It's so strong and some people like that. Like there's nothing wrong with that. I just can't get past it. Like, it literally triggered my asthma. But if you do love a good vanilla, gourmand, stronger scent, you will definitely love this one. I'll leave all the links down below. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean you won't. So I'll leave the links down below for you guys. So all in all, Arabian Middle Eastern fragrances is not going to be my thing. I'm going to ignore them on TikTok because I think they're just too strong for me, particularly. I have asthma, I have allergies. I'm not trying to flare that up. Hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what scents you think you want to pick up. Is there anything you think I want to try? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know if you like these videos too, because I'm usually not the fragrance girl, but I mean, hey, we all got to smell good. So, yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, because you know you like my content. You know I'm a true reviewer. So go ahead and subscribe to you, girl. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.